Hello out there, this is DZ, your overlord Deseran, and welcome back to the Liar Princess and the Blind Prince. <laughs> uh, now, like I said at the uh, end of the last episode, this is the final episode. Uh, recording ran a bit long, I had to break it in two, so I had to do a separate intro for this. So, I do hope you all enjoy this, and uh, I honestly hope you love the ending for this lovely story that's coming. This is obviously a multi-staged boss fight. Oh, what? I have to- Oh, God! Shit. Huh? God damn it. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Huh? Prince, come forward. Come out swinging! Oh, shoot. Well, it would help if I was facing the right way. Oh, right. Okay. Oh! Oh! Can I actually use that to kill boars? Yes, I can! Okay. That's what it was trying to tell me. <laughs> Boom. Oh. Poo. Get right here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ugh. Well, I got one. Oh. I'll try one more. If it doesn't work, then I'm gonna go. Whew. Okay, we're moving on. Whew. No! Shit. Oh, come on. Okay. Maybe. Huh. Okay. Gotcha. Come on, come on, witch. Okay, one more. Last one. Got him, okay. Now we go. Oh boy. Get away. Okay. Just making sure. Not missing anything. Wait. Oh. Huh. Huh. Holy crap, okay. Uh. Oh, this is getting crazy. Ah! 
Okay. Okay. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Drop it. Whoa, no, 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 no. Okay, hang on, hang on. Okay, Prince, stay right there. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Okay, Prince. Huh? Huh? Oh, shit. Okay, Prince now. Okay. Huh? Okay, I hit her. God, one more. I hope it's just one more. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Just keep moving, Prince. Keep moving. Oh no. Okay, move. Move, move, move. Okay, stop right there. Okay, now go. Oh, now I'm top. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Huh. Oh no. What? I'm too far? Oh god. Oh, wait. Okay, that's fine. Holy shit. What? Move! Oh, come on. Okay, go Prince. That's it. Okay. Go. Uh Okay, fine with that. Go. Uh oh. Dag nab it. Go. Well, okay, that worked. Sort of. Okay, go. Whoa. 
What the hell? Uh oh. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, no, 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 no. Keep going. Okay. What? Because of the witch's ma magic, I can't transform into a wolf. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Huh. Prince? What? Why didn't you... What What the hell happened? Oh, Prince, you idiot. Oh, God. Okay. Well, I've already started this boss fight, and I'm already deep into it, so we're gonna keep going. Uh. Uh. No, 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 no. What? What the hell is happening? Okay, there we go. Wait, where are you? Oh, you're up there now. Oh, no. Prince! No, no, no. Move, move, move. Uh... What the hell do I do? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Get out of the way. Huh? He can't continue forward, can he? Okay, back this way. Oh, wait. I can go this way now. Oh, oh, I can get up there with him. Huh? There we go. Stab yourself. Well, I guess we are finishing this in one episode. Holy crap. Man, this game. Oh. They managed to calm the witch down and return her to normal. The smoke from the battle cleared away. Cleared away. <clears throat> The witch appeared to have fainted, but she soon awoke and stood up, her knees weak. No, you destroyed my most precious item. I'll never forgive you. You... Why? You don't understand, the witch sputtered, still furious. She gestured her hand toward them. Magical power gathered in her palm, glowing darkly and ominously. Just before that power was unleashed, on the two... I'm sorry. <coughs> the witch stopped, taken aback. Well now, have you become more honest? You can't honestly think I'll easily forgive you for what you've done. Hmm? For some reason, there was no malice in her voice, despite being there mere moments ago. 
At any rate, you have something for me, don't you? The princess nodded, remembering why she had brought the prince to the witch. Yes. Please, witch. Can you heal the prince's eyes? The witch's face distorted, her expression a mixture of irritation and pleasure. Hmm. But you burned the forest and my collection. It's quite arrogant of you to wish for something like that. Well, I am a generous witch, after all. If you pay me reasonable compensation, I'll grant your wish. The witch said in a strange, matronly tone. What do I do? The princess said, feeling uneasy. Well, give me the reason you came here. But that's... The princess froze in fear. The prince. No. The witch chuckled. No, no, I won't take his life. I no longer require lives as payment. The princess felt only slightly relieved. Let's see. I'll deprive you of all memories with the prince and the magic needed to become a princess. You also won't be getting your, so your singing voice back, of course. Normally, I wouldn't take this much for healing his eyes but only to use the magic to fix the forest that you burned. Mm. Well, what do you think? You've been quite selfish and lied your way here. You can't do this little favor for such a tiny human being. Uh. The princess reflected on her journey. Traveling with the prince, what she'd done to him. She thought long and hard. Finally, she braced herself, determined. Okay, I'll do it. No, I won't let you. The prince tried to stop her from accepting the witch's terms. The princess seized the prince's hand. It's okay. I'm the one who hurt you. I'm the one who lied to you. I thought that if I was able to heal you, I could make things right. But I understand now that it wasn't enough, so... Prince, I'm sorry for everything that I've done. The prince tried to respond, but... Payment accepted. The witch interrupted them and began the ritual. The princess was caught in the magical light, and the prince was blasted away. Depending on how long this takes, I might actually break it into two episodes. First, I'll deprive you of your princess form. The witch moved her hands around, and the princess immediately turned back into a wolf. She could never be a princess again. Why does the voice sound louder? Oh. And now, your memories. The witch shook her staff. 
Magical waves enveloped and restrained the wolf, who was starting to lose consciousness. Princess! The prince cried out, relying on sounds to reach her. Realizing he couldn't pull her away from the witch's magical power, he softly touched her face. Princess, I'm sorry for calling you a monster and a liar. You were honest about how you felt. You're not a liar, princess. So... Please, even if you forget everything, I'll remember. I promise. And I... The wolf's consciousness kept fading. She didn't hear his words until the very end. The wolf reflected one last time. At least, I was able to apologize to him. I wonder if he really forgives me. I wish we could have made up and been friends again. I just wanted to be by his side. Then everything went blank. Oh! I, I guess we're done! Well, holy crap. Well, we'll see in a minute if there's anything after the credits. But, I mean, damn. That's a hell of a story. And honestly... A lot less dark than some of the previous ones. What the hell? Oh, it's the prince being... Pampered and cleaned up. Because he has his sight back. Mm. I wonder if collecting everything didn't change the ending, but we'll see. Oh, he's heading back into the forest. You can see at least now. Wow. Well, that was the goats. He's in the haunted woods again. <coughs> it's the cave. So he's definitely traveling back, the moles. Burned forest. Wait, maybe the flowers are how he finds his way back. Oh. Oh. Trophy earned, starting point. Once upon a time, there was a kingdom surrounded by a deep, dark forest. The forest was a frightening place, filled with beasts, and ruled by a powerful witch. Even during the day, the forest could be as dark as the winter night. Because of this, humans rarely ventured inside. As terrible as the forest was, a singing voice would always pierce the darkness when the moon shone. Oh, but, well, it wasn't very good singing. The voice belonged to a large wolf, who would sit high atop a cliff every night 
and sing toward the moon. She lost her singing voice. Why am I singing? I'm terrible at this. For some reason, whenever the wolf felt sad, she'd come to this cliff and sing. She tried to remember why, but her memories were very hazy. My heart feels empty. The wolf's lonely song faded away into the darkness of the night. When she finished, silence fell. The wolf stared into the night sky, as still as a statue. Suddenly, she heard a noise from nearby. Ugh. Mm. A strange human climbed the cliff and stood right in front of her. The wolf was surprised. Don't. Don't. Humans and wolves are mortal enemies. And the small human before her looked especially tender and soft. Oh no. No, no, no. The wolf hadn't been particularly craving humans, but a midnight snack had just presented itself to her. She raised a large paw, ready to kill the human and eat him. Just before she struck him, however, he caught her off guard and held out something. The wolf was suddenly overwhelmed by colors of every shade imaginable. For some reason, she was filled with nostalgia and a gentle, familiar scent. Flowers? The human was holding a small bouquet. Yes, it's for you. The human said, smiling. The wolf looked puzzled. I came to see you again, princess. Suddenly, she was overcome with emotion. Tears welled up in her eyes and flowed down her face. Sadness and anguish burst from her heart. She didn't understand what he had said to her, but she felt her lonely, empty heart being filled. The wolf lowered her paw and reached for the bouquet. She gently held the tiny flowers, which trembled ever so slightly, and sat down on the spot. The human smiled and sat down next to the wolf. Her blurred vision made his smile seem to quiver. They cuddled under the moonlight as the wolf sang again. It wasn't very good singing, but the human listened to it joyfully nonetheless. After that night, the wolf sang not toward the moon, but for the human sitting next to her. And although the singing was not great, it was filled with warmth and honesty, and it brightened the dark forest forever and ever. And they lived happily ever after. That's lovely. That's so beautiful. Uh, I mean, I'll save. Wait. No, wait, hang on. I'll save over this one just in case.
Oh. Final chapter caster. What? Wait, what? Frosted spiral tap. What? Hold on, what's happening? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait. Okay, he's there next to her now. Hang on, hang on. Okay, I'm gonna check this real quick just to see what the hell this is. What happened? Final chapter. Caster S Castle Sylvan Frosted Spiral Tower. 39. What is this? What is it if I load it? This is a tiny tale of love in a faraway land. Oh, okay. It's just starting the... Okay. No, no, no. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Hang on. Exit. Oh, God. Whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> Uh, no, don't do that either. <laughs> okay, I have no way of cancel. I have no way of canceling this. Okay, it's just starting the story again. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and just say now. So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below. And uh, the liar princess and the blind prince. It's available currently on PS4, PS Vita, and Switch. Don't know about any plans for it coming to Steam, but either way. I loved it. Beautiful story. I... Oh. This is honestly one of the nicer ones. This, this one did not go that dark as some of the previous ones. And honestly, the... The, the visual style, the story, it's all just beautiful. Honestly, just, Oh, I loved it. Oh, man. Well, either way. Until next time, until the next game, this is DZ, your overlord, Desiran. You all have a great day, and I'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs>